Last year's Intel Compute Stick was significantly hyped, but unfortunately it suffered from two major flaws. First it had unreliable and slow Wi-Fi, as well as issues with Bluetooth, and second it had only one USB port. Both of these issues could be resolved by buying a USB hub with an Ethernet adapter, but that completely defeats the purpose of a tiny stick PC that hides behind your TV or monitor. For 2016, Intel has upgraded this device and focused on fixing its issues, making it a significantly better purchase. The Wi-Fi is now dual band 802.11ac and it is very fast. In testing I pulled over 80 megabits per second connected to my Wi-Fi network, which is just about my max speed even over Ethernet. Intel has also added a second USB port, so there is now one 3.0 and one 2.0. They still include an HDMI extender and alternative power adapters as well, which is a nice touch. The 2016 model also has an upgraded Cherry Trail Atom X5 Z8300 processor, which has improved graphics capability over the previous version's Atom 3735F Bay Trail processor. It can handle AAA gaming, but it does a great job with Windows Store games like Halo Spartan Strike and Hitman Go, as well as indie games on Steam like Nuclear Throne and Axiom Verge. Hearthstone runs at 1080p on low, and Minecraft with Optifine averages 30 frames per second. The Wi-Fi is capable of handling Steam streaming and Xbox One streaming as well. The Compute Stick has no problem handling 1080p video via YouTube and Netflix with no skipped frames. It isn't a perfect device though. I'm disappointed that it still ships with 2GB of RAM, which is enough for basic computing tasks, but is a limiting factor for true multitasking or more advanced Microsoft Office functions. The included 32GB of local storage is going to get cramped pretty quickly, forcing you to utilize the micro SD card slot for additional storage. Finally, because the Intel Compute Stick is actively cooled by a small fan, it suffers from less thermal throttling than you expect from for its form factor, However, that tiny fan definitely makes itself heard when you push the compute stick hard. How much this bothers you will depend on how you're using the compute stick. I barely noticed it when I had it hooked up to a TV across the room, but when I was sitting a foot away while using it with a computer monitor, it felt more irritating. Consumers that want a small form factor but aren't wedded to the stick design should consider the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop, which adds a built-in battery and is only $99. That device is passively cooled, however, which makes it great for video streaming, but also promotes performance throttling when used for processor-intensive tasks. Alternately, the Asus Chromebit at $85 turns any TV or monitor into an easy-to-use Chromebox, with an arguably better web browsing experience than the Compute Stick or Kangaroo, at the expense of the flexibility one gets with Windows 10 compared to Chrome OS. All that said, for $159 US, the 2016 Intel Compute Stick is a solid device that addresses the main problems with last year's model, and adds a slight performance boost as well. It does a much better job fulfilling the promises that Intel made last year, and shows that it is possible to get reasonable PC performance into a ridiculously small form factor. I'd recommend it to anyone who is looking for a small form factor stick PC. This has been Voltron 00X reviewing the Intel Compute Stick 2016 edition. For a full written review of this device, check out Voltron00X.com. Liking and sharing is always appreciated. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.